like, hold it, hold feel this. this. Mexican food for me is mostly characterized by salty and sour flavors. A common theme for a lot of Mexican foods, and the ones that you'll see on this list too, is that there are always salsas that accompany it. Salsas or sauces that have everything from chilies, tomatoes, and other ingredients in there to make it savory and usually pretty spicy. What's going on my friends? Welcome to Culturosity. I'm a big foodie and so one of my favorite things to explore and talk about when I go on my travels and journeys is just to explore the food. So on my various trips to Mexico, I've compiled this list of my top six favorite Mexican foods and I hope you guys get to check these out, try them, and let me know what you think. Are there any Mexican foods that I missed that are your favorite? Do you not like some of these? Just let me know what you're thinking. Um, and also for all you foodies out there, I have another video talking about my top 10 favorite Vietnamese foods and introducing them. So if you're interested, go check it out here. And yeah, let's go. The first on the list is consomme de borrego. Now this is a soup or broth made from lamb or sheep. So borrego is sheep in Spanish and consomme is the the soup or the broth that's made after boiling this for a long time. And this was so tasty. It's it's savory and it's clear and clean and it just has a deep meaty flavor. This lady at the stall was warm, welcoming, and just the right amount of overbearing. And she had me try what I believe is the skin of a lamb leg. Next on my list is pescadillas. And the best way I can describe these are essentially fried tacos with a filling of fish. So first you have the corn tortilla that's fried crispy and on the inside is some type of fish like tuna or fish mixture. Then it's topped with cabbage and you eat it with some delicious salsa. Anywhere you go, these go great with an agua fresca and I actually made a video just about agua frescas. It's pretty low quality but it gives you an intro to all you need to know about these tasty juices. Muchas gracias. And then we have, drum roll please, quesadillas. This is something you may be familiar with and is very commonly seen in the US, but this made the list because these quesadillas are not like the ones that you're probably familiar with. Quesadillas I noticed in Mexico often didn't come with that much cheese and it wasn't that melty. And there was a much bigger focus on the fillings like they are in tacos. Also, more traditional Mexican food usually always uses a corn tortilla, so this is no exception. And inside, you can put in any type of meat or vegetarian filling. Mushrooms, squash flowers, peppers, and many others. For around 20 pesos per quesadilla, they taste good and can fill you up. Pozole. I'm a big fan of soups, so Mexican pozole definitely made my list. The soup is usually eaten as a meal and not just for an appetizer. And it's usually a chicken or pork broth, then filled with chicken or pork meat, hominy, which is a nixtamalized corn. Nixtamalization is a process that makes the corn puffy. And then topped with chopped onions, cilantro, lettuce, sometimes radishes, and at the very end, you definitely need the squeeze of lime juice to give it this tart and savory flavor. It's the combination of the salty and sour flavors that I love so much in this dish. Tacos de canasta. When you think of Mexican food, the first thing you probably think of is tacos. So I included them here on my list 
but these tacos are special. In Spanish, canasta means basket. So literally, this means basket tacos. Usually these will be sold on the streets in the morning, and they are pre-made tacos that are packed tightly into a basket. The fillings range from potatoes, cheese, beans, different kinds of meats, and many other unique ingredients. And not only do I think these are the tastiest tacos, but they also deliver on price as well. For usually around 10 pesos a piece, you can fill up on a ton of these and stay on a budget. Tlayudas. This is both a fun word to say and a fun food to eat. Tlayudas are a traditional food that originate out of the Oaxaca region of Mexico. The word originates in Nahuatl, or the Aztec language. It's made with a large, flat, crispy flour tortilla. And then on top, you have some refried beans. Let's go see that. cheese, and then any number of toppings including lettuce, meat, cabbage, radishes, and many more. What I love about tlayudas is they are so hefty and it actually fills me up as a meal. And since I eat a lot, sometimes that's hard to do. Last on the list, and actually my favorite, are actually two dishes that I just sort of merged into one because they're pretty similar. And these are ceviche and aguachile. The similarities between these two are they both contain raw seafood, such as fish, shrimp, sometimes octopus, and others. Now there's not really a standardized definition of what constitutes one or the other, but in my experience ceviche has had tomatoes and it's not really spicy, whereas aguachile usually contains cucumbers, onions, and a spicy chili mixture. Out of the two, I'd say that aguachile is my favorite and it just has such a amazing flavor. I could drink the dressing that the fish or shrimp is in. And the most common agua chile that I found there was either fish or shrimp in a green chili sauce with red onions and cucumbers. Making it also one of the healthiest options on my food list. Thanks everyone for watching. While there are definitely other Mexican foods out there, I really enjoy these and I encourage you all to try them. See you all next time for more culture, food, and language. Adios!